Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Uh, I'm going to do a celebrity reading, Nadine Lustry and James Reed. I hope that I am pronouncing their names right. I have a co-worker, you know who you are, who is Filipino and she's watching a lot of Filipino movies and like she's here, she lives here in Canada. Um, her mother is Filipino and her father is from Canada. So she's just gotten into some of her culture, I believe, and wants to know more about some of these movie stars. So um, she wants to know about their breakup and what's going on between the two of them. So I've got James Reed and Nadine. Nadine is a Scorpio. James is a Taurus, from what I can tell, if their birth date is right on YouTube, or on not YouTube, but on um, the internet. So, so she wants to know if they broke up. I don't feel like these two are together anymore. Um, I feel he's got a wandering eye. And she feels she's never been good enough for him. He thinks he's something else, this one. I feel he, this guy's quite charismatic and um, feels that he can do whatever he wants to do and go wherever he wants to do. Um, I feel that that has caused her to be insecure and I think she's had enough. Um, he... I feel is somewhat entitled, so doesn't really stop to think about how it's going to make her feel. And he puts himself into some compromising positions, whether it's talking to other women, going out with other women, being seen with other women. Um, so I think she's kind of had enough of that. I just get, I get, like I'm a clairsentient and I pick up feelings. And with her, I get this feeling like I've had enough. And... I don't know if he was cheating on her, but she's sure he made her suspicious. I don't know who broke up with who, but I feel that it was her that basically said, no more, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore, you want to go, with, go be with other people, you're not going to make a fool out of me. So, uh... And I just don't feel like she was enough for him. Because it's like, when I think about him, I feel like he's constantly searching. You know, kind of like um, searching for what what's out there that's better. And doesn't make her feel, I you know, I just didn't feel like he made her feel um, loved and cherished and cared for. It's kind of like I felt like she was like somewhat a stepping stone to the next relationship. I don't know if he's in another relationship. I mean, I could be wrong. They could still be together, but I don't feel that these two are together. I feel there's some resentment and he's fine with it. It's like she ended and he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> you know, like now I can kind of do what I want to do. This man wants to be free. Is the, if they're not free, if they are still together, I feel he would like to be free. I don't feel he wants to be in a relationship. He likes to have fun. He likes to go, enjoy life. And she tied him down. And I don't think she, she was tired of that. So I do feel that this relationship is over. And I feel she ended it because he had a bit of a wandering eye. And she could feel that. She, she knew that he did. He didn't care. He didn't, like, you know, some people will keep it quiet this guy didn't care. He did what he wanted to do. Okay, I will get my cards out, see what the cards say. Okay. James and Nadine, what are the messages regarding James and Nadine? What are the messages regarding James and Nadine? James and Nadine. He wants to party. He wants to have fun. He wants to be enjoying life. James and Nadine. What are the messages regarding James and Nadine? 
What are the messages regarding James and Nadine? What are the messages regarding James and Nadine? So what I'm doing is I'm shuffling till one card falls out. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. Um, the one card I'm looking for is the clarity card or the jumper. Those are the messages. Those are the only cards I read. James and Nadine. What are the messages regarding James and Nadine? What are the messages regarding James and Nadine? Okay, what are the messages regarding James and Nadine? Here we have the Hermit. I don't know if they are both kind of quiet right now, but this Hermit, this card is about going within figuring out what went wrong, figuring out what we did. This is about learning, experiencing, and then once you understand what has happened, you move forward, okay? What are the messages? Here's the Four of Wands, and this is about um, family, friends. I don't know if they've surrounding themselves around family and friends, um, if this is where they're getting their support from. Maybe she is. Okay, so this is about, um, it's also about stability. They could still have a friendship after this. This talks about a stable French, a stable relationship. Um, but uh, I think that this is more about family and friends and being surrounded by them. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, I'm just going to grab my book for the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about drama, stress, conflict. It's about, um, it says here, as an individual, this knight charging ahead is bold and determined. He has charisma but lacks finesse. Applied to a situation, he stands for sudden drama and conflict, and he often reveals relationship stress, family discord, or other personal challenges to be overcome. So there was some drama, there's drama here, stress, and conflict between the two of them. And I believe they both kind of like went off and they're kind of doing their own thing in solitude, trying to recover from this. Okay. What are the future messages regarding James and Nadine? What are the future messages regarding James and Nadine? Future messages regarding James and Nadine. Future messages regarding James and Nadine. What are the future messages regarding James and Nadine? I have a card that flipped over. And I don't know where it went to. Sorry. Oh, there it is. All right. You see how many cards I have? There's the Hermit again. Okay. I will go to my book. Because it's come out again, I'll go to the book and get a deeper meaning. That is number nine. This is about solitude, spiritual, spirituality, truth, reflection, wisdom, self-healing. It signifies contemplation and learning. You may incubate new ideas and approaches or spend time reading, researching, journaling, or simply contemplating where you are in your life. This quiet card also invites you to take your time making decisions and generally going slow. In relationships, the hermit can show time apart or solitude after a breakup. Okay, so it's that time apart, solitude. Then we have the chariot. So this reveals a major departure. You make a determined move forward, either physically through travel or moving home or progressing in your work and creative ventures. They probably are throwing themselves into work. The card often comes up to show an opportunity that brings financial reward or other marks of success. Okay, so they could be working you know, uh, kind of doing their own thing, working, throwing themselves into work. And then we have the two of cups. That connection is still there. I just don't believe that anything is going to happen with it. So this, this is about romantic love, partnership. It's about connections, 
but I feel they are moving forward, moving on their own. The connection will always be, be there between the two of them, but I do feel it is over. So, all right, there you go. That is the reading on James Reed and Nadine Lustry. I hope I'm pronouncing the names right. Uh, if anybody would like to get a private reading, you can email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video and I can send you information on how to get, get a private reading. Okay, thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting. I truly appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy these readings. All right, bye-bye.